So I think I just found the best and most versatile tech pouch or travel pack that I've ever used and I want to tell you all about it and also tell you about all the travel accessories that I'm able to fit in here and then some. So without further ado, let's get into this thing and talk about it. So let's start off with the actual tech pouch itself. Now this is the Orbit Key 2-in-1 tech pouch and the reason it's a 2-in-1 and we'll get into that in a second is because there are two different pouches built into one. But the first thing you notice is that it comes in this really nice kind of all recycled material fabric that is completely water resistant so if you do drop some water on it, spill a cup of water or if it rains, you know that all of your tech products in here are nice and protected and it brings a nice little carrying hoop as well as other loops and attachments so you can either put this inside of a bigger backpack or clip it onto another bag or whatever the case may be and you get a bunch of pockets and a bunch of different sizes and a bunch of different ways to actually organize all your tech so when you open this up you do have a front pouch so you can fit whatever you want for instance i have my iphone 13 mini in here which fits perfectly and it's lined and it's not really microfiber but it's still very nice lining in the front pocket which is beautiful to see and i just keep my 13 mini in there because i use that as kind of my secondary camera when going around but if you zip that up the magic is on the inside in the main pocket so if you open this up the first thing you notice is that I was able to fit a ton of stuff and that it's self-standing. So inside of here, you do see that there's a bunch of different compartments and a bunch of different things that you can play with in terms of organization. And what makes this the two-in-one is that there is a removable section that is another kind of pouch that they're considering their desk kind of pouch. And in this pouch itself, it's probably stuff that you would want to use kind of at the ready or have it ready to go. So what I have in this part of the tech pouch itself is I have my T7 SSD by T7 Shield by Samsung. It is a two terabyte SSD that I carry with me everywhere and it's what I use to edit all my video and what I use essentially to make sure that I have all my footage in hand when I'm on the go and then I have the actual cable that goes alongside of it this cable didn't come with that t7 shield but it's another cable that I use from dock case which I absolutely love because it does support up to 10 gigs transfer speeds and in the other pocket, I do have my AirPods Pro Gen 2, and you're probably wondering what is actually on that thing. And I like to have my AirPods Pro protected at all times, not really for the actual scuffs and scratches because I don't really care that my AirPods Pro gets kind of scratched up. It's mostly for the drops because when I drop my AirPods, and if you guys are AirPods Pro users or owners or anything like that, and you drop your AirPods, some way, somehow, both of those AirPod buds are gonna go in opposite sides of the room and they're gonna be impossible to find. I don't know why that's able to happen literally every single time, but having a nice AirPods case, it has a clamp on there, so if you do drop it, yes, it's going to protect the case, but it's going to protect it from actually opening up on its own. So this case is by a company called Alumnu. It is extremely protective. It's very easy to use. You just put the bottom piece on, then the top piece on, and then it just clamps down perfectly. There is an additional adhesive in the box if you do need to actually add a little bit more adhesive. But the best part and the claim to fame here is the fact that it does have that little clamp. So you have zero chance of this thing opening up on its own. Definitely check it out. And I highly recommend getting one of these as maybe like a little gift or something for somebody or for yourself. And it also has a nice little Velcro strap that you're able to use. And finally, it does still support wireless charging, although MagSafe I have not been able to get it to actually stick on because of the thickness of the case itself. And the last thing I have on this piece of the tech pouch is my multi-tool pen, and it's exactly what it sounds like. First and foremost, it is a pen, and you can see that it is multi-purpose in terms of having like a ruler on every side of it. It is hexagonal as well, so it's not going to roll off your desk at any point. And also, the trick that it has up its sleeve is twofold. One, it is a leveler, so if I am hanging something or if I need to find out and make sure that something is level to the ground, I can do that. And then also, on the top of it, it actually has a screw where you can unscrew, and then you have not only a Phillips head, but also a flathead screwdriver, which is something that I've used a ton because with all the the text products that we have, opening them and closing them. This little kind of screwdriver has come in handy so many times, and I carry this with me at all times. I used to have it just in my backpack, but now it's gonna live in my little tech pouch right here. And what I love about this piece is that you can actually pull it out, like I mentioned, from the actual Orbit Key 2-in-1, and it is self-standing. So the idea here is to bring whatever you need in the big pouch, and then if you have something like, let's say, your AirPods or your SSD, like those are the things that I use every single time I open my iPad or my computer, putting this on your desk and letting it stand there is going to be a great way for you to be able to access it very quickly. So I love the design language, and I love what Orbit Key was able to do with this tech pouch. And I will link down everything that I mentioned in the description down below for you guys to check out. And of course, you can see in this actual tech pouch for the desk, you actually have way more pockets and little kind of knickknacks that you can fit in here. But for the most part, I left that pretty empty because I only really need my SSD, my AirPods, and then my multi-tool pen in here, which I use on a decent occasion. 
So now if you remove that little desk pouch that's inside of the tech pouch itself, it does give you a lot more room. So if you want to carry them separately, you could definitely do that. But the rest of the stuff in here is going to be more so for overnight travel, like being able to charge your devices and having power on the go. So the next product I want to bring up is the X55 by Kyuxu. And I've mentioned this product in the past, and this one is my favorite travel charger to have by all means, because it is a three in one charger. It charges the big three. It charges your AirPods, your Apple Watch, as well as your iPhone. It supports MagSafe, and it's super malleable in terms of how you you can actually use it from a form factor standpoint, right? So you can have it totally folded up so it's only like a MagSafe puck for your actual AirPods or let's say your iPhone, and then you can completely unfold it so it lays flat on your desk or your nightstand or anything like that to charge all of your three things. Or also you can have it as a stand so it does support things like standby mode on your iPhone as well as still be able to charge your AirPods and your Apple Watch. So this is my absolute biggest recommendation for anybody that's on the go. Because not only is it super useful and compact and has a bunch of nice functionality to it, but it's only $40 and on top of that, it brings an USB-C cable to actually charge it as well as a 20 watt charging brick in the box. Now it doesn't support full fast charging because again, it is $40, but it is perfect to bring it overnight for a hotel or just always have it in your backpack just in case because it does charge everything you would need to charge in a nice perfect package. So that is a Kyuxu X55, which I absolutely love. So that is a Kyuxu X55. So like I mentioned, it is $40. It brings the cable, the charger, as well as its own carrying case. So for $40, you really cannot go wrong. And I think we do have a 10% discount code down below for you guys to check out. And then next to that, I do like to carry my paper-like cleaning kit, which is essentially just a cleaning solution as well as a microfiber lining on the outside of the actual spray bottle that allows me to clean my devices and keep them kind of free of fingerprints when needed. So I use this with my iPad pretty much on a daily basis, if not every other day, just because it's nice and easy to use and it's nice to carry. So I have usually one in here I have one in my backpack and I have one in my desk drawer. And then to continue on with the power sentiment, I'd like to have a MagSafe battery pack. Now this one is by a company called Alumnu and this one is perfect for exactly what you need because it is a 3500 milliamp hour battery that allows you to charge your phone, probably not fully, especially not the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It gives you about 75% charge, but that's more than enough if you're taking it on a full day's use and you're using it for an extended period of time. And it charges automatically via MagSafe. It looks very cool from an aesthetic purpose and it's multifunctional because it does have a nice metal kickstand that's very sturdy. So you can kind of prop up your phone to be able to watch vertical content, horizontal content, and put it in TV stand mode, which is my favorite way to use this thing. So that is the Illumnu MagSafe charger that comes in either white or in black. And then of course you're gonna want an actual charging brick to be able to power up all these devices. So what I like to use is the new Nomad 65 watt charging brick. So this 65 watt charger by Nomad allows you to charge up all of your devices for the most part. So if I have my MacBook Air with me, I can charge it at the full 65 watts. I have my iPad with me, I can charge it at the full 33 watts if I want to. I can charge my iPhone at the full 30 watts I believe it is, or 25 watts of plugged in charging. So it does have two ports so you're able to fast charge pretty much anything that you plug into it. So what I like to do is plug in my three in one charger to one of them to charge all my auxiliary devices like my AirPods, my iPhone as well as my Apple Watch and then if I need to charge my iPad Pro while I'm actually using it I'll use the top one to make sure that I'm getting the full amount of speed and I love just how compact it is how easy it is to use and that is by Nomad and you guys know that Nomad makes some very quality products which is great to see and I do have the Nomad cable right next to it that I carry with me which is a nice beautiful white braided cable which I highly recommend getting your hands on. And the final thing I have in here is a Penovo Apple Pencil, which is a cheaper Apple Pencil alternative, which I like to test out. I'm always testing out Apple Pencil alternatives because for $120 and it being almost a six-year-old device, Apple Pencil 2, you know, it's still obviously the best one for your iPad, but you can get 99% of the way there with these off the market Amazon ones that are sub $30. And I've even seen some for like $15, which gets you like 85% of the way there. So I'll link this one as well as some other ones down below for you guys to check out. But you can see that this tech pouch has a bunch of different loops for real pencils, Apple pencils, styluses, whatever the case may be. And you still have plenty of room after that, but that's everything that I carry with me in a travel pouch because I pretty much just want to have power. I want to stay light. I want to have my extra iPhone just in case I need it. And I want to have my SSD my AirPods with me at all times. And like I mentioned, you could fit more stuff in here like SD cards, maybe more SSDs, you know, maybe MagSafe wallets if you have some of those that you want to keep in this tech pouch. The list is pretty much endless, but I just love how sturdy this tech pouch is, how it kind of carries everything that I want to. But that is everything that I have in my new Orbikey 2-in-1 tech pouch. Are you guys somebody that uses a travel tech pouch to begin with? Is it something that you're in the market for? And would you pay $55 for this tech pouch or any of these other products that I have down below? But let me know with a comment what you think. Always curious to discuss. And if you guys made it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know you made it to the end. And if you guys want to watch some more videos like this one, click on one of these right here. But until next time, I'm Fernando. And happy traveling if you are traveling with your travel accessories, everybody. Peace.